Morning guys, um, I just want to introduce a, a new feature I'm going to have on my channel uh, called uh, Wildlife Shorts and they're going to be very short videos with a bit of wildlife footage and maybe a few stills and the reason I want to do that is because often when I'm out I might get some lovely little bits of footage and some nice stills and I'm not going to use them in a vlog because I'm not out shooting a video that day um, so I thought it'd be a really nice idea just to put them up as very small videos and um, you know, share them on my channel because it's great to see these clips, I think. And also, the, uh, the second good reason for doing that is you don't have to listen to me talking too much. So more wildlife, more photographs, less of me talking. So that might be a good thing. Um, yeah, as I say, there's often times I'm out when I'm not shooting a vlog, but I get some great bits of footage and I want to share those. And I might be out teaching as well. And generally, I don't take lots of pictures when I'm teaching because I want to concentrate on the, you know, running the workshop. But when you're doing a wildlife workshop, once everyone's set up and there's a bit of action happening, sometimes stopping everyone to, you know, check their settings and look at the pictures means they actually miss that bit of crucial action. So it's better to take a step back. And when I do that, I can often get a little bit of footage and a few stills. So as I say, I'm going to add them uh, onto these small uh, wildlife shorts and I hope you enjoy them. So there's one coming up now, uh, some a uh, little bit of video um, with some oyster catchers and some knots uh, down at a local reserve in Essex where I live. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll speak to you on my next video guys. So bye for now. We were at one of my favourite reserves uh, in Essex and uh, just the other side of the reserve is the uh, River Thames and uh, the River Thames obviously is tidal at this point so as the tide was rising again it's a bit like uh, in Norfolk you know when I photograph the knots as, as the tide rises the, uh, the waders are pushed off the mudflats where they're feeding and this means they start to flock into uh, the lagoons where uh, you know they've got somewhere to rest up until the tide drops and um, as you can see in these pictures there were oyster catchers loads and loads of knots there were red shanks and there's a, a few plovers mixed in as well amongst uh, all the other uh, wading birds and the uh, plovers are, are a sort of medium size medium to large size wader and in this case i'm not 100 percent sure but i think they're grey plovers um there were um reports of golden plovers uh, hanging around as well but i think these are grey plovers but it was an absolutely um a fantastic couple of hours of photography and again it's you know about being in the right place at the right time so i hope you've enjoyed um this uh, short wildlife video um if you can let me know in the comments uh, below if you think this is a good idea you know i'm gonna 
uh, if there's um, you know enough demand and people enjoy them I'm going to add lots of wildlife shorts uh, in between my sort of longer vlogs you know the proper vlogs so um, yeah as I say I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and if you have enjoyed it if you can give it a like a thumbs up that really helps my channel and I really appreciate that and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel if you can consider subscribing that would be brilliant more the merrier and uh, yeah that's about it so thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you on my next vlog bye for now